So if you fabricators are anything like me, you're gonna come across the need to build a custom intercooler setup. So at the launch of our new product line, I'm gonna give you what comes in the box and a general overview of N-Tank construction do's and don'ts. We offer many sizes to fit your project's needs. When it arrives, it comes in this sturdy FTD box. So the core arrives raw and ready for fabrication. It's of a bar and plate design, and it's engineered for maximum flow and maximum heat dissipation. So we chose to sketch up, water jet, and bend our N-Tank design, but if you don't have those tools available, you can always do the pattern in cardboard and you want to transfer your pattern onto the aluminum. We're using 5052 8 inch thick aluminum plate. Once you get this together, you can tack it up and then weld the full thing onto your core. So you want to be sure your inner core and end tank is clean and free of dirt, debris, and oil. The cleaner the material, the easier it is going to be to weld. You want a dedicated clean brush that's only really used for aluminum. Once you rough the surface up, you want to make sure it's clean. If you use a chemical prep, we recommend acetone and stay away from chlorinated brake cleaners. Uh, it's really harmful once you start welding. Um, the end tank, you want to make sure you tack it up, your fit up's correct, tack it in opposing positions so none of the material walks on you when you go to do the full weld. Get your fit up, you want to run the bead between the material and this area on the core only. If your weld table is in question, you want to run the ground clamp on the core or end tank itself. This will ensure a proper connection between your torch and your ground, and you don't have to worry about the integrity of your table. So now I'm gonna hand the responsibilities over to our fabricator, Mike. He's gonna take it from here, put the rest of this thing together. Okay, now have your core fully welded up. You want to check for any leaks. And the last step is to download our stencil on the website, give it a spray. So you can use the bar and plate to center the M, get it pretty close. Make sure it's flat. You can check the straight lines from the M top and bottom with the bars running across so you know you're straight. Tape your stencil on, mask off any places. You don't want overspray. So you can be pretty light with the can. You don't want to go heavy spray on this because you'll get a lot of runs. Just want to spritz it a couple times, make sure it's even, but pretty light. So that's how easy it is to build a custom intercooler for your ride. So click the link in the description below on how to get yours.